In the dance program here, one of the things that we do specifically for the dance majors is they get two main stage performances. Spring into Dance is when they are learning choreography from both the faculty here on campus and from a guest artist or guest artist that we bring in. There were 11 pieces uh, and nine choreographers. They learn almost two hours worth of choreography in barely three months. It's okay for you to pull her in to you. We start to see consistent or even leaps and bounds of growth from them. She will take us and challenge us from our normal patterns. It should be like, okay, we're gonna do this and it's gonna be something you're not comfortable with, but over time we're gonna gradually get there. The guest choreographers come in and they're not here very long. They audition our students, they choose our students, they set the piece and then they leave. And they leave that in the students' hands. They leave their vision in the students' hands and in our hands as well as part of the rehearsal process. It's very important for them to have the opportunity to work with these guest artists. These are some of the best in the business. It's a great opportunity to meet new people and um, to gain connections that could potentially be useful in the future. We put both guest artist pieces this year in the second half of the concert, which meant that they had one piece that was 14 minutes and one that was almost 18, both of which were constant movement. And one of the things one of the students asked is, what do, what do we do if, we, if we're just too tired to get through it? I'm like, you just keep pushing through. You find a new way to, to challenge yourself to do that movement or to act it in a way that still gives the audience the sensation that they are there with you. That's something I've looked forward to finally presenting it on stage and be able to, to run it the whole thing without gasping. This show has really challenged me in that way to be able to push through. Working on the dance pieces, seeing that on stage, it kind of just makes you feel accomplished. They are completely dedicated time-wise. They're engaged in the process. They're engaged as students. Being in these pieces this year has really pushed my technique and what I'm capable of doing. This year I was a choreographer. I usually create pieces based on my family heritage. The piece was called What River Says. It was a spiritual journey piece, but it was also based on this poem, What River Says, which is a Cherokee poem. And I have a strong connection to that part of my family and the oral traditions, and I had never represented that on stage before. To me, that's special to me, just, just right there, being able to go into someone else's head and, and put what's in their head on stage. So some of our dancers had to go from doing a classical ballet piece to doing a very Latin-focused, earthy jazz piece that had all to do with acting and comedy. And the audiences go on that journey with us. To me, performing in front of an audience just, just really gives me goosebumps. I enjoy being on stage, being able to tell someone else's story. It's good to finally show people like all the culmination of what we've been working on. I just get excited for it. I tell them, and I think other choreographers do, this is yours now. Once we get it onto the stage, this is yours. And you have to make it your own and tell your story within the context that I've given you to tell it and find a connection. And seeing them find that connection and being able to witness that on stage and hear our audiences um, share that experience, it's, it's gold.